Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Today I wanted to come to you with my, I guess, list of things that us tall girls should be shopping for for this fall. Now we know trends and stuff are like running rapid and 99% of the times we aren't able to get what everybody else is getting unless it's like accessories and things like that. So I wanted to jump into some things that I think we should start looking for right now before everything is sold out. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is outerwear. Outerwear is like so hard for us, especially when it comes to getting something with like super long sleeves. Now we know Kate is a higher end brand and to be quite honest, they are so overpriced to me, but the quality of their things are really, really great. They have amazing trench coats. So that's what I wanna talk about is outerwear. Trench coats are some of the things that I know are needed in our wardrobes, regardless of your style, honestly. I've seen girls wear them with sneakers, boots, chunky boots, thigh high boots, um, everything so start looking for your trench coats and my favorite is the Renee I think it's called the Renee or the Renee trench coat from Kate and they're about let me see that one is like $2,200 which is kind of pricey for a trench coat so you guys know my other favorite brand would be the Frankie shop so as a tall girl we can't typically fit their medium large stuff depending on the item but when they have items that are one size fit all it's for us so they have a ton of trench coats that i absolutely love my favorite is the eugene trench coat i purchased it last year but they have another one that i want and i definitely think trench coach should be on your list starting from now the other outerwear piece would be our wool coats for those of you girls who live in a hotter climate area you don't need one however if you are a girl who travels to colder states definitely get you a chic bomb <laughs> wool coat i would say go for something that has more of a hourglass shape um the boxy shape is still cool because it's still on trend but if you want something a little bit more classic that you can wear next season as well, go for something a little bit more classic in style. And if you don't want to get a classic color, go for a statement color, right? A statement color that could actually go with everything in your wardrobe. And I like to use that term a lot because I'm really big on cost per wear, guys. And it is what it is, right? So a trench coat and a wool coat, right? So that's outerwear. Start looking for that stuff now because like I said, the stuff is gonna go quickly, especially in our size. If you can find something that's fitting your arms and the length that you want. The other outerwear piece would be leather jackets. I'm gonna go back to the Frankie shop because again, they have oversized pieces and their oversized jackets may not necessarily fit us oversized but it'll still be a really nice fit i have one frankie shop moto jacket and another one that they're both oversized the moto jacket fits me like a nice size slightly oversized the other trench coat is like really oversized <laughs> um and that's the faux leather one so Frankie, the Frankie shop is a really good place for us to try and shop if you're into that style. I always recommend mixing up your clothes. You don't have to always have a ton of, well, it depends. If you like a full feminine wardrobe, there are some days where those girls even like to mix it up as well. So definitely get the wool coats, the trench coats, and the moto jackets, guys. Another thing I would say I'm into like ponchos and stuff so for me I'm gonna be looking for ponchos I'm gonna be looking for another trench coat um, and ponchos are something that I just absolutely love and my favorite poncho which I don't even know why I don't have it yet it's almost like I waited for the price to go up right um, and I'm saying up the Fendi 
poncho, poncho, the the iconic Fendi pouch poncho. I absolutely love it. That is something that's on my wish list, which I think I'm going to do a wish list video for you guys. And it's realistic for somebody who's tall and who cannot just go and buy everything that they see. So that poncho is something else that I really love. There's another designer. I'm not going to mention them just yet because I'm trying to see if they come back in stock with them and then I'll definitely share it. But a poncho is another thing if that is your style. So for, like I said, fall is coming. If you are into like denim jackets and stuff, you can definitely still get away with some nice denim coats. Go for something that has a little bit more style to it. Maybe something that has like an hourglass shape, right? So there are brands that have them. Just Google guys. Google is your best friend. So that's my outerwear. If you are into puffer jackets, definitely go for a puffer. I'm not really into puffers. Um, I guess I'm puffed out <laughs> since I was living in New York. Like, oh my goodness, like puffer jackets or your so I'm kind of not into those, but if you are into those, definitely get that. And if you're not, go for a Sherlin, guys. Sherlins are always in. Sakai has really nice Sherlins. And if you are a tall girl, they do, from what I have seen, their jackets do come with really long sleeves. Now you have to be careful because sometimes they're like super cropped. And if you don't balance that cropped jacket out on your body, it's gonna look a little awkward. So that's it for outerwear. Now let's get into shoes. Now for shoes, footwear, whatever you wanna call it, right? We got boots. Boots are just something that we need this fall. Okay, from ankle boots, to knee boots. If you girls are still into thigh high boots, you can definitely do those. Chunky boots are still a go. Now for the girls who have like wider feet, I know everyone were, was buying those Bottega boots, but they do have a newer pair that has strings in it. Now from what I'm looking at, they look like men's boots, but if you're into something chunky like that, you can definitely go for those. Now, I will say this, Bottega, look, they run really narrow. So if you have narrow feet, you're fine. If you don't, then don't do it. Opt for something else. I still think Fry has really nice boots, um, great leather. Don't sleep on the older brands because all these new brands came out. Definitely do your research, guys. All right, so chunky boots. Let's get us a nice pair of sneakers, too. I'm still gonna wear white sneakers <laughs> to the day I die, okay? And also, what's on my wish list are these Loewe sneakers. They're so cute to me. And the only reason why I'm on the fence is because I got the big old L on it and I'm not really into that, but I love the colors on them. So I may still just go ahead and get them. But get you a nice pair of sneakers. If you're into like the Jordans and stuff, you guys know I only got the one pair. But I really love the color. And to be quite honest, I haven't even worn them a lot. I think I've worn them like twice. But I still do like that green color. So a pair of sneakers is something that you want to get. If it's not a color sneaker for the fall, definitely just get like maybe a loafer or something. I'm not into loafers, but I have seen really, really cute ones. And I'm just not into them because the way the pants fit with the loafers is just not my thing. But definitely go for loafers and some sneakers some ankle boots and some chunky boots and some knee boots and possibly thigh high if you are still into those right there's a ton of designers now here's where the struggle comes in for us tall ladies most of us got some big old feet right so if you wear a size 11 and up the struggle may start to really ah, get real for you but I have this is what I have noticed and I noticed this when I was a very young girl that most designer brands go up to larger sizes okay and I don't know if that was done on purpose <laughs> but they definitely go up to a minimum of 43 so the problem is the girls who have the larger feet you got others wearing the shoes they're going quick so we have to stay on top of what we want put it in a wish list use the karma app i told you guys about this before the karma app is just like the best if you put it in your karma app it tells you when it's on sale but if you really want it 
only put things in it that you really want and then just get it right all right so that's it for shoes and bags did I say bags no that was shoes and outerwear and now let's get into bags guys for bags it's not that hard for us because we can get any bag with the exception of super mini bags I don't care what anybody says mini bags do not look good on tall women it's just very awkward for us we have to get something that's a little bit more chunky chunkier in the hands that way we're not swallowing the bag also when it comes to crossbody bags i think i mentioned this the other day we don't want to get anything that's too short on us because it's gonna look weird it's gonna make it look like the item is not for us we want to get something that has like an adjustable strap and if it doesn't that the chain or whatever or the strap is extremely long so let's get some of those bags before the fall like I said <laughs> a lot of the girlies grab up all the stuff before we can get to them because most of us are not thinking about getting stuff already for the fall but definitely start diving into your bags if you do not want to spend a ton of money there is a brand called I think it's called Pauline, P-O-L-E-N-E. -E. They have really nice leather bags, okay? So if you're not into logos and stuff, go for something that is 100% leather, nice Napa leather, or even a, maybe like a grainier leather, um, something, something that's nice that can last you throughout all of the season. So bags is another thing. If you're into backpacks, you can get those <laughs> um, or nice tote bags tote bags are always gonna be in and I think in my opinion if you can get a tote where it has a strap where you can carry it the long way and something short that would be perfect um, but you have to be okay with the, the hooks and stuff if you're not into that then definitely just go for something that is just one two shoulder straps for your shoulder so those are my bags guys and let's get into the clothes <laughs> here's the struggle fall is here the fall colors and all that stuff is out like all this stuff is already here we as tall women cannot do what everybody else does it's just what it is and we have to be okay with that this is why I always say for me and my body I always buy things that work well with me I'm tall I'm slim so I cannot do what anybody else's does if I were to think that I could I would be a hundred percent frustrated so when it comes to clothes you want to get these essential pieces and I always talk about essential pieces because that's something that we just need but as tall women even buying those can be very difficult right and it's just finding the size things that are long enough on the sleeves things that fit us on the shoulders like things that are not too short so start looking at all of the brands like I said do not sleep on the Frankie shop they have a lot of oversized things that you may like and other brands okay people like to talk about Zara okay I go to Zara as well, but I know sometimes I just cannot get certain things from them. So, like for example, blazers. Zara is a hit or miss for me. So, I already know the brand that actually carries nice oversized leather blazers, and I'm always going to get one. <laughs> I have three of them. I think I have three. And I'm going to get more because they fit really, really nice. I have a black, a green, and a brown. Oh yeah, black, green, brown. Yep, yeah. <laughs> and I said I was gonna get the tan one. And that is Lamarck, the Felina blazer, the Felina oversized blazer. It's oversized, now the large fits oversized, but the medium actually fits like really nice. So for me, I know where to shop to get the things that actually work well with my body as opposed to just trying to do what everybody else does. Now what we can do to stay on trend I guess if you will is get accessories hats jewelry um, belts things like that we can still be trendy um, and not necessarily have to buy all of the clothes like the girls are wearing because we just can't fit them it is what it is and then a lot of the tall girl brands they're coming out more and more and more 
but they're just not giving what people really want. And it's no shade to them, but I get it. It's expensive to have a brand and they have to do what works for the majority of the tall women. So those are some things that I think you should start looking for now, guys. So when it comes to shoes and boots and stuff like that, if you see your size, don't be like me where I'll hold it in my bucket and then before you know it, it's gone. All right. Don't do that. If you see something, um, if it's full price, 99% of the time they're going to have your size. When that price starts to drop, you're likely to miss out on your size. So sometimes you have to bite the bullet and pay the full price just so you can get exactly what you want in your wardrobe. Otherwise you'll be frustrated. I've done it a ton of times <laughs> and then I never get the prop, the item. So those are some things that I wholeheartedly think that tall women should be looking for now for the fall. So when it comes to the clothes, I was getting into clothes, right? I began getting sidetracked, y'all. When it comes to the clothes, like I said, we want to get our nice jeans. Um, we want to get nice skirts. There's a ton of skirts. If you're into pleated, if you're into um, A-line skirts, if you're into maxi skirts, pencil skirts leather skirts i'm a leather girl so i'm always gonna have leather skirts in here and what i'm looking for right now is a nice red a-line skirt like it's on my list i just don't know who sells it <laughs> so in my head i'm gonna find it okay red is one of my favorite colors which is crazy because i do not have a ton of clothes in my closet that's red but it's a color that i've always gravitated towards so Get your skirts, get your turtlenecks, guys. Get your cardigans, okay? Get your, I don't want to say bodysuits, but bodysuits that have arms. If you're into bodysuits, I know a ton of girls still wear them. They will never let them go. Um, just get you nice tops, chunky knit sweaters. Those are hard to come by, but this I'll, I'll say this. Since I've never been the girl to really shop at tall girl brands i literally will google something that i really want it'll pop up i'll look at the sizing read the description and the details if the model is 5'10 and it looks like it fits her well even though they put them in like a size two <laughs> in my head if she's 5'10 and her arms are fitting and she has room I'm gonna get that item so I've trained my mind to just like look for things like that as a tall girl because the worst thing you want to do is to be frustrated and angry when you're shopping because they don't have something in your size so yes so then the accessories we talked about jewelry um, belts uh, hats gloves y'all know listen let me show y'all these gloves you guys seen these gloves before? I don't even think I got to wear them. Did I? No, because by the time I got them, I think the weather had shifted. But you guys remember these gloves? Oof. Let me tell you. These are from Koss. And one thing about me, I'm going to buy something that I absolutely love. I don't care how much it is. If I can fit it. They're so, they're so, they're so long. <laughs> Let me see if I can get, I got these, uh, these things on my hand, this ring. Hold on, let's pull it up and show you. So remember these? Get you some accessories that are different, um, unique, that no one has, and start to create your own style and the goal is not for me to tell you what to do is to open your mind as a tall girl um to other things you can do right and like i said as a style coach i can tell them what they should do but on this channel i just want to have fun with you guys and just show you like we can actually still be stylish like the other girlies okay and start our own thing okay because <laughs> to be quite honest I don't even know how many tall influencers there are like where are you guys this is like a, a call to you guys where are all the tall 
influencers or content creators. I'm going to say, con well, I guess they're the same, right? Where are all the tall content creators, influencers here in Atlanta, New York City? Let's do something, ladies, because it's a lot of us, but I feel like they treat us like as if it's a small amount of us, but it's a lot of us. So those are some things you guys should be looking for this fall. And again, they are more of essential pieces because I'm telling you, though, even those essentials are really, really hard to find. So that's just one way to get a head start before everything is gone and then we're stuck in the fall. All right, guys. So those of you who are subscribed to the channel, thank you. And those of you who are not, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button and notification. I post on Wednesdays and Sundays and follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on tickety tickety talk. Coco Styles NYC and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.